and welcome to Celebrity Millionaire. And tonight, we're keeping it in the family. Can you guess who these people are related to? Martin's brother-in-law has played the Prime Minister, a pregnant man, and even Postman Pat. This lady is the proud mum of a TV golden girl with that extra factor. And Hilda's grandson went from a pop star to an opera star. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Tonight. Now, we're hoping it'll be more family fortunes and family feuds. Let's see who we've got hoping to win £1 million pounds this evening. Comedy actor Stephen Mangan and his brother-in-law, Martin. <laughs> TV presenter Caroline Frack with her mummy, Chris. And singer Joe McKelvery and his grandma, Hilda. <laughs> and tonight, our celebrities will be playing for charity and for one of you at home now, as always. I'll give you the competition details in just a few moments. Let's get straight on and bring out our first family team. Please welcome actor Stephen Mangan and his brother-in-law, Martin. <laughs> Hello. How nice to see you. How are you, man? What's up, man? <laughs> OK. Now, Stephen married uh, Martin's sister, Louise, back in 2007, and has chosen him because he thinks Martin knows a little bit about everything. <laughs> We shall see. <laughs> see. Knowing a lot about everything will be handy. Martin worked in advertising, and his first impression of Stephen was that he was very, very hairy. I, I, fail, I fail to understand that. Well, you are quite hairy. Am I? You're a bit fluffy. Mangan, it, my surname is actually Gaelic for... It means luxurious growth of hair. <laughs> well, there you are. So, I, lucky I'm not, yeah, bald. Is Mine means lover of bright water, and I spend most of my spare time fishing. So, you see, it works. Tonight, as well as playing for one of you at home, Stephen and Martin are hoping to win lots of cash for their chosen charity, which is Marie Curie Cancer Care, which provides care for terminally ill people and their families. Now, backstage, we've got Caroline and Chris and Joe and Hilda are also playing along on their keypads, just for fun, so we can get an idea what we're in for when it's their turn. Right, at this moment, Stephen and Martin are just 12 questions away from £1 million. Pounds. Sounds easy when you say that. They have the usual three life Lines, they've got a 50 50, they can phone a friend, and of course, they can ask this, <laughs> this very strange audience. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking. The first seven questions up to 50,000 pounds are played against the clock, and for the first two questions, they have only 15 seconds. Right, guys, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is for £500. I will read the question, then I'll start the clock. You'll have just 15 seconds. Here it comes. Which of these household chores is particularly associated with spring? Start the clock, 15 seconds. Cleaning, making the bed, washing up, food shopping. It's got to be, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be cleaning. Spring yeah. cleaning. We got that right, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go with cleaning. That's our final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Some students would say all four. Uh, it's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Right, last point at which you could go home with nothing, I'm sure you won't. Question number two guarantees you £1,000 and you still have all three lifelines there. Have a look. Question number two is this. Which of these is an award-winning US TV drama series set in the world of 1960s advertising? 15 seconds. Barmy Boys, Mad Men, Wacky Women, Crazy Ladies. Oh, what a shame it's not Wacky Women. <laughs> it's, um, it's Mad Men, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, we're going to go with Mad Men. That's our final answer. It's the right answer, Steve. You've got £1,000. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right so far. Yeah. So that's a guaranteed £500 for their charity, £500, of course, to launch that viewer prize pot. Stephen and Martin now have 30 seconds to answer the next five questions. So, have a look. Question number three is for two grand. Here it comes. What relation to a boy is his mother's brother? Start the clock. 30 seconds. Nephew, twin, uncle, grandfather. The boy, his mother's brother, is... The uncle, yeah. yeah. That, we haven't got that the wrong way around, have we? What relation to a boy is his mother's brother, he's his uncle, yeah. You are Uncle Stephen. Yes, I am an Uncle <laughs> Stephen. Uh, I will go with uncle and answer C. That's our final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Well, 
Well, you've had a strange career, haven't you, Stephen Mangan? <laughs> and now you're the voice of Postman Pat. I am, yes. How, not, does, he, not... how does he sound? He sounds a lot like me, yeah. actually. Um, well, isn't he not supposed to? Well, What's no, he sounds... Well, sound, like, I couldn't deviate too much from the, the TV cartoon. It's for a film, and I think if children went in and he spoke completely differently, they'd all scream and leave the cinema. So I've done my best to model him a bit on... Uh, you the do TV a bit. postman go on, do a bit. Go I can't. Oh, I go can't. on. I can't remember. <laughs> you know, what do you mean you can't remember? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? It was like <laughs> Gary. It is pretty that amazing. was like Postman Pat was in the room. He's right here. Yeah. Yeah. And Gary Barlow is doing... Gary Barlow, well, post... singing bit. Pat in the, in the film has an amazing voice that makes people... Uh, sing. ..just gobsmacked with his talent. And he sings a lot of take that songs let me unexpectedly. Do it. <laughs> Written by oh, Gary. Right. <laughs> so, yes, they've got Gary to do the singing voice. That's, um, who plays the cat? The cat doesn't have any lines, so... Oh. The cat says meow occasionally. So, I don't know if you're free later this year. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I've got a gap in the door. Get you in. <laughs> Didn't you tell your little boy? You've got two boys, haven't you? I've got two boys, Didn't you yeah. tell your little boy, excitedly, you're going to be posting back oh, with David Dark? Well, it's the first, the first thing I've ever done that, you know, they can actually watch. Everything I normally do, yeah. you have to be 32 or over to watch. <laughs> So I came rushing mm. home and said, I'm Postman Pat. And he said, no, you're not, Dad. Don't be daft. So, you know, he'll have to hopefully be convinced. Is it, is it weird for you, sort of turning the telly and finding him on? It is quite strange sometimes. <laughs> the, the kids get used to it, don't they? Yeah. Oh, look, there he is again. There oh, he is again. Prime Minister. Yeah. yeah. Postman Pat. But Martin's sister, my wife, is an actress, so I suppose, you know, it's yeah, not yeah. A too much of a novelty. Though. OK. You have um, £2,000. <laughs> you haven't touched any lifelines. It's question number four. It's for five grand. Have a look. In which of these sports might a competitor adopt a pike or tuck position? Start the clock. Fishing, weightlifting, boxing, diving. You've been an Olympic diver, haven't <laughs> you? <laughs> it's got to be diving, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we it's, yeah I mean, you, 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 you don't... Yeah, you pike and you tuck. Yeah. It's diving. Yeah, yeah. Diving, 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 diving. It's diving. We're saying diving. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £5,000. <laughs> so, uh, in the green room, Caroline and Christina Mummy and also uh, Hilda and Joe got that right as well. But it's fairly early days, we'll see. They do get harder, sadly. You have £5,000. Question number five is for ten grand. You have three lifelines. Have a look at question number five. Which London department store keeps beehives on its roof in order to make its own brand of honey? Start the clock. Harrods, Liberty, Selfridges, Fortnum and Masons. Now, I'd, it'd be a guess for me. I don't yeah. know the answer to that. It could be which one? Fortnum's. Fortnum's or Harrods, probably, yeah. Do we want to ask somebody? Should we ask the audience? Yeah. yeah. Be quick, think? guys. I'm worried about the clock. Let's ask the audience. OK, please. stop the clock. You have ten seconds left. OK. Right, audience, on your keypads. Your chance to shine first time tonight. We've needed you. Uh, this is the question. Which London department store keeps beehives Harrods on its roof in order to make its own brand of honey? Now, A is Harrods, B is Liberty, C, Selfridges, D, Fortnum and Mason. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 27% are saying Harrods, 1% Liberty, 6% Selfridges, 66% uh, Fortnum Mason. Right, restart the clock. You've got 10 seconds. What do you want to do? It's a it's, uh, food store, isn't it, Fortnum? So we'll go with the audience. We'll say Fortnum and Mason's. That's our final answer. You have a clue? No, not a clue. I'm <laughs> terrified. Please be right, audience. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, Caroline uh, and Mummy Christine think it's Harrods. It's the sort of thing Harrods would do, isn't it? It is know? the sort of thing Harrods would do, but they don't. Fortnum and Mason do. It's the right answer. You've got £10,000. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Martin's clapping. Oh, I knew that one, yes. I don't know why we went to the lifeline. I knew that. <laughs> Stephen and Martin doing OK. Um, they still have two lifelines left. Yeah, are on £10,000 at the moment, and they could win a serious amount of money uh, for you and your family as well. Now, if you fancy being with a chance of grabbing half of whatever the total of all the cash won on tonight's show is, plus a serious entertainment package for all the family, have a look at this.
Welcome back to this Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's a family special tonight. So far, Stephen Mangan and his brother-in-law, Martin. They're on £10,000. Uh, the good news is they've still got two lifelines left to use. Waiting backstage, trembling for their turn in the hot seat, are Caroline Flack and her mummy Chris and Joe with his granny Hilda. Um, let's have a look at the next question. You've got £10,000. This will be for £20,000. You've still got two lifelines. It's getting quite good now, Steve. It's all right. Have a look. Okay. Question number six is this. A stone monument at Thames Head, claiming to mark the source of the River Thames, is in which county? Start the clock. West Sussex, Gloucestershire, Shropshire, Warwickshire. Well, it's not West Sussex. It's got to be Gloucestershire, isn't it? Or I doubt it's Shropshire. It's, I'm pretty sure it's Gloucestershire. What do you think? Gloucestershire. You think? You comp you're completely sure? Warwickshire's too far north, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm happy to go with that. Yeah. You? Yeah. We're going to go Gloucestershire. That's our final answer. the right answer, you've got yes. £20,000. <laughs> There's a lovely quote about you. You were doing an audition, and one of the uh, directors auditioning you dropped his notes. <laughs> it just said on the top, weird and foreign-looking. <laughs> <laughs> John Travolta question mark afterwards. <laughs> I don't know no, where they got that. No, it doesn't say that, that at all. I think it's so good. Yeah. I was talking earlier about the roles you do. Are you still working with Matt LeBlanc? Yes. Uh, we are doing another series of episodes this summer. So uh, that's our third series. Uh, be truthful. What's he like? Is he a very nice man? I get asked that a lot. And I, and I, it would be lovely to have some stories about what a monster he is. But, and it's a, the boring answer is he's the loveliest guy. Aww. He really is. <laughs> Mind you, I'd say that even if he wasn't, but he is, <laughs> <Yeah>. genuinely. <laughs> No, because you just think, because they were so huge and they made so much money from friends and all that, and you yeah. think... I mean, it did worry me a yeah. bit before I took the job, because you think, how can someone be that famous and successful, you know, and, and wealth, you know, and all the adulation they've had. Yeah, Ten absolutely. years, it was the number one show in the yeah, world, yeah. really. Mm. And huge. there's probably not a country he can go to where he's not famous. I know, being funny, but how did... I mean, why did they choose you? I... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I don't mean... That. Sorry, that sounds really unkind, and I don't mean it, it's just... I don't, why, I don't why did they know. Go for it, was, it was quite a big audition process. I know they auditioned here and in L.A., and uh, I guess I just was lucky in the right time, the, you know, right guy in the right place at the right time. Did uh, they know then you were the voice of Postman Pat? Well, no. That could have swung it. That could have or swung it the other way. <laughs> uh, Probably no. your hair, really, isn't it? Maybe. Do you think it's my hair? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could be hair. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you have 20 grand. You are now, Stephen, you are one away from £50,000. Right. You've got a 50-50 left, you've got a phone a friend left. I will say, though, this is always an area where people get very excited. You can take the money. You can use both lifelines and take the money. An awful lot of people on this show have got to £20,000 and they dropped 19. Right. OK, just to put you at your ease. Thanks. So, question <laughs> number seven is for £50,000. Okay. You do not have to play this question. Have a look at it. It's the last one against the clock. Here it comes. There are over 100,000 red post boxes in the UK. What was adopted as the standard colour for the early Victorian pillar boxes? Green. Have a look, start the clock, see the options. Blue, green, purple, yellow. Oh, it's blue or green, isn't it? I don't know, I think it's green, but I'm... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not purple and not yellow. You've you got go two life 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah. We'll have a 50 50. Okay, right, please. stop the clock. You've got 15 seconds left. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Stephen and Martin the right answer, one remaining wrong answer. Mm, blue or green? Restart the clock. What do you want to do? You do not have to play this up to you. I think it's green. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Let's go. We're going to go green. That's yeah. our final answer. I will tell you that Joe and Hilda uh, think it's blue. And Caroline and Chris think it's blue. You said green straight away, didn't you, actually? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you just won £50,000! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get mad! That's oh. right. Help us, though, did it? And apparently, um, originally they, they, they made them green so they would blend in with the landscape, and they stopped because nobody could find them. <laughs> <laughs> they, so yeah. and they made them red. Yeah. Right, Stephen and Martin have a guaranteed £50,000. How good does this sound? That means that's the minimum 
amount they've wanted to share between their charity and one lucky viewer watching at home at the moment. They are no longer playing against the clock, and they've earned that extra lifeline switch, which means they can swap a question they don't like. They're now just five questions away from one million pounds. Have a look at question number eight. You do get switched now, and you've still got to phone a friend. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, Steve. Oh, <laughs> You're happy. not just the voice of Postman Pat, you know. No. Uh, have a look at question number eight for £75,000. This is one you know you should play because you can't lose this amount of money. Have a look. Which of these is not a British butterfly? <laughs> wow. Oh, good. Speckled green, Adonis blue, marbled white, meadow brown. Well, that's... the meadow brown sounds like it should be British, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think marbled white... Also, is British. It's blue, Adonis okay. Blue, you think is the one? I think it sounds un-British, but... We both think it might be Adonis Blue, don't we? Yeah, but... but we're sort of guessing. Is that because it's called Adonis, which is a Greek word? But that doesn't really mean anything, is it? Adonis Blue. Phone a friend? I don't think it's worth phoning a friend just because... Don't they don't friend. know. <laughs> 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 Do you want to switch it, or should we just have a little bit of a... Hunt. I, I, I'd say it's Dennis Blue, but I'm just guessing. I would say that as well, but I'm just guessing too. <laughs> Do two guesses make a right? Well, it means we can't blame anyone. That's true. <laughs> Shall we take a little bit of a gamble yeah, and exactly. save that yeah. swap a question for the yeah. half a million question? Yeah. <laughs> if you get there, you can switch it, that's all I'm saying, it's up to you. Should we gamble? Gamble. We're going to gamble. We're going to say Adonis Blue, and that is our final answer. Uh, Caroline and Christine think it's Adonis Blue. Uh, Joe and Hilda think it's Adonis Blue. You're all completely wrong. The right answer is Speckled Green. Oh. How well? Don't. Tell you what, though, come on, they've won £50,000. <laughs> and that's the share between their charity and that viewer prize pot. That is a serious amount for any charity. Yeah, yeah. Give a big hand, Stephen, yeah. and brother in law Martin. Okay. We'll play, guys. Okay. Cheers, yeah. we'll play next. We'll yeah. play. Yeah. Thank you. Right, let's get the next family out. This lot have been giggling all afternoon. Mother and daughter, this time host of the Extra Factor, Caroline Flack, and her mum, Chris. <laughs> Come on, you two. Be all right. It'll be all right. No giggling. No giggling. Right. Chris, as you can probably guess, is mummy to Caroline. And the twin sister, she's got a twin sister, Jodie. Growing up, Caroline describes herself as the naughty twin. Now, we've got a picture of the twins together. Let's have a look. Ah. <laughs> Which one are you on? I'm the one with the boy hair. How oh, are you? Yeah, so you could tell us apart. Well, Joe had lovely long hair like a girl. But why is she stuffing a rose into your mouth? Because that's the kind of thing we do. <laughs> but also, I've got one of mummy and daughter. Just look. Aww. You mummy. look lovely. Mummy, you look lovely. Nice jumper. Thank you. <laughs> Still got it. Caroline and Chris are hoping to win a stack of cash to share between one of you at home and their chosen charity, which is Quidnam Children's Hospice and that cares for children and young people with life-threatening conditions, as well as their own families. Now, if you want more information on the show, anything to do with the show tonight, uh, and shows up and coming, and all of tonight's charities, please go to the website. Now, they have their lifelines, and for the first two questions, they have just 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Lots of luck, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right, question, are you ready for this? Question number one is for £500. You have three lifelines. I'll read the question, you have 15 seconds. Here it comes. Which of these is a popular ballroom dance? 15 seconds from now. Quick step, frantic step, speedy step, rapid step. Quick step. We need to get to A, quick step. Final answer, A. Quick step, final answer. <laughs> it's been like this all day. <laughs> it's the right answer, you got £500. Yay! Yeah! Really good morning. What a start. You're on a roll. <laughs> OK. Last point at which you could go home with nothing. I know this is a thing you're dreading, Chris. It won't it happen. You have three lifelines. You won't need them, but if you do, use them. 
Question number two will guarantee you a thousand pounds, and you go home with your heads held high. Uh, have a look. Here it comes. On which Saturday night TV show does Tom Daly mentor celebrities in the diving pool? Start the clock. Squish, splash, splosh, splat. B. We think it's B. Splash. Final answer. Do we? We do. <laughs> it's the right answer. You got a thousand. Oh. Yeah. Well, what a start! So, that's a guaranteed £1,000. <laughs> they are just ten away from a million. They have all three lifelines. Join us in a few minutes to see how much further they can go. to the celebrity who wants to be a millionaire family special. Ah, before the break, Caroline Flack and her mummy, Chris, got off to a perfect start with £1,000 safely in the bank and all three lifelines left to use. Now, how are you feeling, you two? Because you were a little well, bit excitable this afternoon. Well, it's been nerve-wracking. Yeah. It has. We're nervous, <laughs> but we just, wanted, we just wanted to get a thousand. So actually, we're all right now. Well, who's... of you two, who's the intelligent one, truthfully? No, you can't both be yeah, that. But I... You think you are until you see the questions and then you realise you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of how it works. Are you two good mates? Yeah, we're best friends. Are you? What's the worst thing she does? Go on. Go on, Mum. The worst thing? Yeah, what's the worst thing? She habit? doesn't answer her phone. Well, she's busy. She worries a lot. If I don't answer my phone, she gets in the car and drives to London. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Knocks on my door. Why aren't you answering your phone? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the next five questions, they'll have uh, 30 seconds. Question number three is for £2,000. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask you. Have a look. Tell us what you want to do. 2013 is the 50th anniversary of which famous heist involving Ronnie Biggs and Buster Edwards? 30 seconds. Antwerp, Diamond Heist, Mona Lisa, Theft, Great Train, Robbery, Theft of Shergar. Do you definitely see? C. Yeah. Final answer. C. Great train robbery. Final answer. Terribly pleased with yourself. It's the right Yay! answer. Yay! <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> Are you still enjoying Extra Factor? Yeah, it's my favourite as well. Yeah, it's my favourite show. With Ollie. With Ollie. Well, Who we was here? He was. He was here. He was jumping around. There's something wrong with you. He was jumping all <laughs> over the place. He was. We get a bit too excited, me and Ollie. Um, yeah, he did well, didn't he? He got 10,000. Yeah, and he was, he was with his mummy. Mm -hmm. There's no, you know, romance or anything between you two? There's no romance, no. Sorry, We're very good asking. friends. So I just asking, you know, how you do. OK, um, you've got £2,000. What, when you came out tonight, because it's, it's a lovely charity you're playing for, mm -hmm. I mean, you must have thought, if we could get that amount of money, that would be, you know, obviously a million, but, you know, do you realistically think, if we could get to that, that'd be fantastic? We did. We genuinely said a thousand, didn't we? We just wanted to get to a thousand. A thousand, but if we could get ten, I think for a charity, that that's a lot of money. That's yeah. a lot of money. We shall see. Uh, question number four is for five thousand pounds. You have all three lifelines. Uh, have a look. Tell us what you want to do. Thirty seconds is the question. The name of which spice also means a pass between an opponent's legs in football? Start the clock. Mace, saffron, ginger, nutmeg. Weirdly, um, neither of us are very good at football, or very good at football knowledge, but I think we know this one. I think it's nutmeg. D, final answer. I don't know how... How do we know it? Megs. Megs. What? Don't they say Megs? I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> nutmeg. It's the right answer. You've got 5,000 pounds. <laughs> You got five thousand pounds. Question number five is for ten grand, which is the amount you said you'd love to get to. You got three lifelines to help you get there. Have a look at it. The very first logo of which major corporation featured Sir Isaac Newton sitting under a tree? Start the clock. Amazon, Google, Apple, Nokia. I think it'd be Apple. Well, I'll ask you because the Apple fell on his head. Oh, okay. But I think ask the audience. Yeah? OK. Yeah. Ask the audience. I think we're going to ask the audience on OK, this stop one. clock. OK, you'll have 15 seconds. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question for Caroline and Christine. The very first logo of which major corporation featured yes, Sir yes, Isaac yes, Newton yes, sitting yes. under a tree? Oh, now, A God, on your no, keypads is Amazon. B is Google. C is Apple. Uh, D is Nokia. A, B, C or D. All vote now.
Uh, 14% are saying Amazon, 11% Google, 74%. Big majority, you might have helped a little bit, Chris, but it's a big majority. 74% say Apple, 1% say Nokia. Right, restart the clock. What are you going to do? I think we go with that. Be quick, guys, you've only got seven okay. seconds. Okay. Do you want to play? What we'll do you want play 50 50. Right, stop the clock again. You'll only have three seconds off the back of this. You'll have to give me an answer quick if you want okay. to play it. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Give me the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Apple and Nokia remain. Right, restart the clock. What do you want to do? Go see Apple, final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that one. Um, 74% is the right answer. Thank you. I don't want to see the 50 50 there, but it made you sure double check. You've got 10. Okay, right, you have £10,000. It's good. Mum, are you all right yet? Are you happy yet? really pleased, yeah. Good. Yeah, I am. You were two, listen, this is good. You were two away from 50000 and that would be fantastic. You have got a phone, a friend. You've got 10 grand. Uh, if you give me a wrong answer at this point, you would lose £9,000, so take it easy. You can take the money, but you could double your money here to 20 grand. Have a look, tell me what you want to do. Question number six. Which of these has voted to become the 51st state of the USA? Start the clock. Faroe Islands, Cuba, Montserrat, Puerto Rico. Not sure. Who should we phone? We'll phone a friend. Yeah. yeah. We'll phone a friend. OK, stop the clock. Right, now, let's have a look at your friends. I always like this bit, because they're always funny photos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these are really funny. So you've got Anna, uh, Ian's dad, isn't he? And, yeah. and, and Jason, who's Jason? It's my twin sister's partner. OK, and Anna? My best friend. OK, right, so you've got Anna, you've got Ian, you've got Jason. Right, who are you going to ring? Who will know this? Jason? Jason. Yeah? Jason, yeah. OK, we'll go, we'll phone Jason. Caroline, you want to talk to him, yeah? Good, nice, loud voice. Yeah. OK, right, I'll tell him. Okay. After that, you'll have 20 seconds. You can still take the money. OK, okay. you can take 10 grand. Okay. That's what you came for, but it's worth 20. Jason? Yes? Hello, Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Well, I'm OK. And thank you for caring. Are you, um, are you calm and ready for this? Uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to be, I suppose, yes. <laughs> well, you volunteered, matey. I've got um, Caroline and Christine here. OK, great. They're doing all right. Yeah, um, they're stuck on one particular question. It's worth £20,000, so it's quite serious. OK, great. All right, mate, so the next voice okay. will be Caroline. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. All right, okay, mate. Great. Thank Caroline, you. fingers crossed, my darling, your time starts now. Jace, yep. which one of these has voted to become the 51st state of the USA? A. Faroe Islands, B. Cuba, C. Montserrat, or D. Puerto Rico? Oh, uh, I would probably say... Oh, I don't think it's Cuba, definitely not. You've got nine seconds. OK, I would guess at Puerto Rico. OK, all right, thank you. Is that OK? How sure are you? Uh, Oh, oh, right, restart the clock. You've got 20 seconds. Money. What do you want to do? I think we take the 10,000. Really? I don't think we should risk. I think we take the 10,000. OK, we take the 10. Sure. Final answer. Money. Yeah, final answer. Take the money. Final answer. Do you know what the right answer was? Was it Puerto Rico? It's Puerto Rico. Oh, he got it right! <laughs> Oh, but you would have, yeah, but you would have been... If you'd gone home having lost £9,000, yeah, you'd be we couldn't so, lose that. so sad. Yeah. No, we couldn't lose it. Give a big hand. They got £10,000. <laughs> Which is a lot more than they thought they'd get today, I tell you. They won £10,000. Now, that'll be shared between their chosen charity and that viewer prize pot. Let's hear it for Caroline and Chris. What up, guys? It's over now. <laughs> Bless you, mate. Well played. Well played. Good luck. Thank you. So, join us after the break when our next family will be put to the test. Joe McEldery and his grandma, 78-year-old Hilda. Now, for your chance to win tonight's big money, it's going to be serious money and that amazing family entertainment package, here's what you need to do. <laughs> well, 
welcome back to this celebrity who wants to be a millionaire special. It's a big family show tonight. Now, as this is the final part, the clacks and good sound will stop the game. If that happens, any question in play will be null and void. Right, let's get our next family team out. Will you please welcome singer Joe McKeldry and his grandma, 78 year old Hilda? <laughs> Right, are you comfy? We'll get your specs on, good girl. OK. <laughs> Musical talent must run in the family. In the 60s, Hilda was in a girl band called the Dolly Mixtures. Joe credits his nan with his love of performing and describes her as his best friend. Is it true when you were doing X Factor you rang nan every day? I did. I spoke to, I spoke to quite a lot of family members, cos sometimes in them kind of things you need a bit of a pep talk, and she's a woman of wise words, so <laughs> she kept us on my feet. Are you going to be any good at this, Hilda? Well... I can't remember what I had for tea yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that probably won't come up as one of the questions. <laughs> hey, egg and chips, bean sausage casserole. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah, settle in, everybody. We could be here for days. Joe and Hilda <laughs> are hoping to win a stack of cash to share between one of you at home and their chosen charity, which is Teenage Cancer Trust which helps improve the lives and chances of survival for young people with cancer. Now, they've got the usual lifelines, and for the first two questions, they'll have just 15 seconds. Right. Hilda, Joe, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> OK, question number one is for £500. You'll have 15 seconds. You have your lifelines. Have a look. Here we go. Which of these is a common tabloid newspaper term for an unfaithful man? Start the clock. Love rat, passion hamster, lust mouse, desire gerbil. Oh, yeah, it's, it's love, love rat, rat. yeah. Um, we'll say A, love rat, final answer. Not desire gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? It's the right answer, you got £500. <laughs> Hilda, you could actually take the money and go now if you want. <laughs> you can. A famous girl once a long time ago did. Don't do it. Please stay. Get more. You've got three lifelines. Question number two would guarantee you a £1,000. Have a look. Tell us what you want to do. Here it comes. What name is usually given to the area on a computer screen that contains icons, files and a waste bin? Start the clock. Tabletop, desktop, flat top, kitchen top. It's desktop. B. What do you think, Hilda? What do you think? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Just, That's why I answered it so quick. <laughs> it's the right answer, you got a thousand pounds. Sorry, I've got the giggles. So that's a guaranteed one thousand pounds. Now, for the next five questions, Joe and Hilda will have thirty seconds. Question number three is for two thousand pounds. You've got your lifelines intact. You guaranteed that thousand, so it's good. Have a look. Question number three is this. Which of these is the name of the Hobbit's homeland located in the northwest of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth? Start the clock. 30 seconds. The manor, the county, the shire, the hood. Don't ask the audience. Can we ask the audience? You can. Right, stop the clock. Good boy, Joe. You'll have 20 seconds off the back of that. You've still got two more lifelines. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Let's try and get them up to £2,000. This is the question. Which of these is the name of the Hobbit's homeland located in the northwest of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth? A on your keypads is the manor, B is the county, C is the shire, D is the hood. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, one percent saying the manor, nobody at all is saying the county, which doesn't happen very often. Ninety-two percent are saying the shot. That's quite high. Uh, seven percent are saying the hood. Uh, it's up to you. I'm restarting the clock. You've got 20 seconds. Joe, what do you want to do? Do you want to see the shire? shire? Yeah, we'll see, see the shire. Fine, lads. Look at you nodding. <laughs> Hilda, you haven't got a clue. Well, 92 percent is good. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> well played. I hope I'm right on this. Did you go on the Alan Titchmarsh show 
It was you, wasn't it? Presented yes. him with a gold yes. disc. Yes. And did, did you know Graham was coming on? I'd no, no idea. Neither did oh. she until she got there. <laughs> <laughs> did they, um, they hide you away and everything? And he didn't know? No. It was very nice. It was nice. Was it teary? Was it a bit...? It, it felt a bit weird, cos, yeah. you know, it's, it's quite weird being on a TV show with your family, you know, cos I've done everything on my own. Yeah. Um, and it's like kind of taking you, a family member into the office and them, having them sitting next to you, it's quite strange. And it was like, Nan? Nan? <laughs> she was more bothered that she hadn't been told because she, she didn't have a nice enough outfit. That's all she was bothered about, Excuse not about being on TV. Me? That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> Does anyone want to find out? <laughs> Fight! <laughs> oh, dear. Right. <laughs> you had two grand. I want to get you some more. Uh, I'm running out of time, so let's go and get through a few more questions quite quickly. Question number four is for £5,000. You've still got two lifelines. Here it comes. What made its first non-stop crossing of the Atlantic in record-breaking time 40 years ago this year? Start the clock. The Flying Scotsman, Spirit of St Louis, Caddy Sark, Concord. Concord, yeah. We'll see... Concord. We'll see it, yeah? D, Concord. Final answer. Hilda Weiss, sir. I'm not... I'm just here following him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot of help to me. <laughs> but you said it as soon as it came up, you went Concord. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm never sure. Well, that's the right yeah. answer. It's Concord. You've got 5,000 pounds. Yeah. It flew from Washington to Paris in three and a half hours in 1973. The first ever right. transatlantic crossing was Rio. It flew to Rio in 1971, but that stopped off at Cape Verde. So that's an amazing plane. You have £5,000. Question number... Are you enjoying this yet, Hilda? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK. Uh, question number five is for ten grand. You can double your... This is good money. £10,000. You've got two lifelines. Have a look. Question number five. I'd love you to get this one. Here it comes. Allium sativum is the botanical name for which common cooking ingredient? Right, 30 seconds. Pepper, garlic, salt, oh, olive oil. God, oh, God. Um, phone a friend? Who, who phone a friend or 50-50? We'll phone a friend. OK, stop the clock. You'll have 17 seconds, Jay. You could still use 50-50. And don't forget, you could still take 5,000. I don't want you to plunge back to one. Um, OK, let's have a look at your friends. Good grief. <laughs> OK. Who are you going to phone? Who, you, who would you like to phone, Hilda? Who, who'd know this? I don't know. Paul, Paul. We'll phone Paul. Who's he? Paul is my cousin. OK. It's quite bright. Does he cook? No. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm hoping he'll know. OK, good choice. You talk to him, Joe. You've got a nice sound yeah. voice, yeah? Right, OK. We'll phone Paul. Uh, you could still use a 50-50 and you could still take £5,000. Hello. Paul? Yeah. Chris Tarrant here, good evening. <laughs> good evening. How are you? Why are you laughing? Hello, how are you? Um, Paul, we're right in the middle of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Joe and Hilda. Right. Uh, they're doing OK, actually. They're stuck on one particular question, though. Now, there are still four options. It's worth £10,000. Okay. So, next voice will be Joe's. He'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. Paul, fingers crossed. Joe, 30 seconds of your time starts now. All right. Allium sativum is the botanical name for which common cooking ingredient? Is it A, pepper, B, garlic, C, salt, or D, olive oil? Sure. What, what was the name again? Allium sativum. Allium sativum? Yeah. Sure, I've never heard of it. You've got ten seconds. Pepper, <sighs> garlic, salt, or olive oil? I'd be guessing at Five olive seconds. oil, but I think you've as much idea as me. Any answer? No. Oh, oh, OK, I've got to restart the clock. You can 50 50 if you 50, want. 50 50. 50 50. Okay, right. Computer, stop the clock at 13 seconds left. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Joe and Hilda the right answer, the one remaining wrong answer. Garlic or salt. Right, restart the clock. Garlic. I think it's salt. What do you want to see? Garlic. Make your mind up, guys. Hilda, what do you want to see? Should we just go for it? We'll go for B, garlic. Final answer. I don't think it's all right. Cut that a bit fine, Hild. Uh, Why do you think it's garlic? Just a wild guess. <laughs> I thought it was salt, but I'm listening. <laughs> Which I'm... Hilda. Have you come a long way? Yes. 
you stay in for a bit, you've just won £10,000. Yes. High five. High five. Hilda! 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 Ooh! Oh! Oh! You've got ten grand. Please do not lose this, Joe. Hilda, do not lose this amount of money. You have no lifelines left. Oh. But the next question is worth £20,000. It's a huge old cheque for your charity anyway. You've got ten at this moment. Have a look at question number six. It's for £20,000. Again, it'll be against the clock. I'll read it and then you'll have 30 seconds. Here it comes. In a Grand Slam tennis event, what's the minimum number of points a player must score to win a tie-break? <laughs> It's a hint of hysteria. Oh. 30 seconds. 13, 9, 7, yeah. 5. I think we should take the money. Take the money. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to take the money? I, I feel like it's 7. It's up to you. You've got 15 seconds. Uh, I feel like it's 7, but I... We can't risk it. I am... Um, we'll take the money. Final. Sure, you've got Final. four seconds, Joe. Final. Final, answer. Final answer. Oh! You know the right answer? Is it seven? Seven. Damn. Oh. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. oh! You should have got 10,000. <laughs> but, I tell you what, Hilda, if I'd said to you, darling, when you came in this afternoon, you'll get to £10,000, you would have been absolutely delighted, would you? Yes. You've been fantastic. The thing is, if you couldn't risk that, we've got to think of the children. Yeah, no, I Charity. think you've been brilliant. Yes. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, very much. He's a bit of a sweetie, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, give him a big hand. £10,000 now. That is to share between the viewer prize pop and their charity, Joe and Hilda. Give him a big hand. Now, that means the viewer grand total for tonight now stands at... £35,000, so you at home still have a chance to win that amount of money, plus that extraordinary family entertainment package. Here's what you have to do. We're offering you the chance to win a fantastic entertainment package for the whole family, including a 40-inch smart TV, Wii U and games, Blu-ray DVD player, iPad and iPad mini, desktop PC and printer, two iPhone 5s with speaker system, two pairs of Beats by Dr. Dre headphones, and this Hummer toy car. Plus half of all the money won on tonight's show. For your chance to win, just answer the following question correctly. A family tree is used to trace your what? A, friends, B, ancestors, C, schoolmates, or D, teachers. Call 0904 16 19 Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Or text your answer A, B, C or D to 88011. Text costs £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. You can also enter for free at the website. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at midday on Wednesday the 3rd of July will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. I have loved it tonight. That's it. Thanks to all our celebrities and their family members. Hilda, you have been a star. Everybody who braved the hot seat tonight, Stephen and Martin, Joe, and of course Hilda and Caroline and Chris. Until next time, from all of us on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, good night. Right, you've just got a few minutes to practice your voguing. Next tonight, 20 dance masterpieces and the choreographers who came up with the ideas battle for the honoured title of the nation's favourite dance moment. <laughs>